Welcome back to Turtle Tina. In our last video, we learned how to write, run, and save a simple program. Now let's learn some more commands. Color, width, pen up, pen down, extrude, and back. We'll start by opening our programming screen in Creative Suite. And remember that we always start by naming our turtle. Tina equals NC Lab Turtle. And when we write a program, we always want to see what we drew. So we'll write the show command, Tina.show, and then go back and fill in the rest of the commands. Tina's default color is blue, but we can change it to many other colors by putting the color command in our program. Let's color Tina red. Tina.color red. And notice that the color is in capital letters and that the text changed color. Let's also give Tina something to do. Tina.go30. Okay, let's run the program. So we now have a red line along the x-axis. Let's go back and change the color. How about mint? Mint is one of the many custom colors in Tina's library. We can also change the width of the line. The default width is one unit. Let's change it to three. Tina.width3. Now we have a thicker, pale green line. As much as we like Tina, we don't always want her in our final drawing, so we can hide her. Tina.hide. And now all we have is the green line. Sometimes we want to move Tina to a different position without drawing a line. There are several commands that will do this. For now, we're going to learn pen up, pen down, and back. Tina drawings were originally made using an XY plotter. The plotter pen is lifted up to move to a different place and then set down on the paper to start drawing again. So the commands are pen up to stop drawing and pen down to start drawing again. These can be shortened to PU and PD. Let's go back to our program and change it to write the letter T. For Tina. First we want to move 20 units before we start drawing. So we'll type Tina.pen up, Tina.go20, and then Tina.pen down. We also want to turn 90 degrees left to start the letter T. So Tina.left 90. Let's also change the color to orange and decrease the width of the line. And I also want to see Tina this time, so let's remove the hide command. Okay, let's run the program. So we can see that Tina moved 20 spaces to the right before drawing the line. Now we're ready to make the top of the T. So first we'll do Tina.write 90 and then Tina.back 10. Let's see where that puts Tina. So she made a right turn and then moved 10 units back without drawing a line. Okay, now let's draw the top of the T. Tina.go20. Let's also hide Tina this time. Now that we've drawn our T, let's add an extrude command to give our design a thickness. Tina.extrude3. Now our design is 3D and we can actually print it out on a 3D printer. To summarize, remember to always name the turtle first. 
We can change the color and width of the line. We can move Tina without drawing a line by using pen up or back. And then we can make her start drawing again by using pen down. We can hide the turtle so she doesn't show in the final design. And we can make the design 3D and printable using the extrude command. In the next video, we'll learn two more basic commands and then we'll be ready to draw patterns.